Hi, I'm Kevin Start with Start Planning, where we've been revitalizing Cobb County, Georgia retirements for over 35 years outside of the greater Atlanta metro area. You know, we can learn several things about successful investing from the story of Ronald Reed. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about a couple of ways that Ronald Reed was able to amass an $8 million bequest and inheritance recently just by buying and holding good dividend paying blue chip stocks. So for the next several months, it's all probable that financial journalists and stock market investors will be tweeting about Ronald Reed's fortunes. You know, he was a janitor up in Vermont that left this bequest of $8 million. And he worked for 45 years on amassing this fortune of $8 million while he was working as both a janitor and while he was working at J.C. Penney. It's important to recognize that although Ronald Reed lived frugally, it's also important to recognize what Ronald Reed held in his portfolio, which included a number of blue chip dividend paying stocks, household names, that we would all recognize like Johnson & Johnson and Procter & Gamble. In fact, he was no fancy day trading, fancy dancing, penny stock investing investor at all. In fact, Ronald Reed didn't even invest in the indices like the Standard & Poor's 500 by owning index funds or indexed exchange traded funds. Reed's story of independent thinking runs totally counterintuitive to most of us who follow the crowd and do what others are doing by moving money into whatever asset class appears popular at the time. In other words, we're following the crowd, following the herd, buying high and selling low. This is a recipe for disaster if it's not done correctly. And very few of us have been successful in timing the market. In fact, Recently, the Investment Company Institute Strategic Insight Group in a study showed that investors moved $66 billion into the market just when the market was about to peak in 2001. And then they proceeded to move a similar amount of money out of the market just when the market was bottoming in March of 2003. And there's a similar story with regard to what the Investment Company Institute found in 2008 and 2007 and 2009 as well. Moving money into the market when the market's about to peak and moving money out of the market just when it is about to hit a trough or bottom. Successful investors know how to stay off of the herding bandwagon and avoiding disasters that come along when we tend to try to time the market. At Start Planning, we talk about investing for the long run, but we also recognize a good value is a value that can be bought for a dollar at 65 cents on the dollar, and a bad value is a value that costs us a dollar 30 when that same basket of goods or earnings in this case can be bought for a dollar. We preach value investing. We live by what we preach. And at Start Planning, we're giving away this month a copy of our book, Bucket Bliss, which talks about income planning, how to do it, how to utilize it, how to take income successfully after putting that money to work at value-oriented investing styles and putting it to work successfully over the long run. If you'd like to get a copy of this book, you can do so by calling us at 404-226-9478 or emailing us at startplanning at gmail.com. And our number again is 404-226-9478. In the meantime, make it a blissful day, and thanks for listening.